can you even see us guys? No, I can't see. It's so sunny here in Greece. Hey, hey. We have no idea if you can see us. Whoa, oh. <laughs> Jessica's knocking me off this there. <laughs> Will you come on, say hi? And I'll see if I can, I can see, see the comments. It. We need the laptop, don't we? We need something like shaded to cover it. Why don't you put oh. it under the sunbed? Because it's shaded and we can see it. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, when you can't say hi. Can't see the comments. Could you comment for me just so I know I can see you? We've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh, there's Becky. Hello, Becky. Hi. Hi, guys. I can't take them all the way over there because there's no signal. This is Jess. Hi. Jess has spent two days lying on this pineapple. <laughs> and she hasn't moved just to float around. It is so hot. Hi. Oh, it's Hannah's on. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Han. Well done, by the way. You did oh, yeah. so well the other day. You, UK Hi, Joanne. Hi, everyone. Sorry if I look really au natural. I've just got no makeup on, not even any moisturiser, nothing. Hi, Yves. You're coming, love. Hi, Pat. Love's coming. Hi, guys. Could somebody do me a favour and share it into my group? Because I've got wet hands. That'd be great. Thank you. If you could share this into Spirits and White Feathers, that'd be fab. Hi, Candice. Hey. <laughs> Need another one coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, here comes Lily. Look, this thing. She said, Mom, can I have a tortoise from the shop? Look what she brought. I don't know if you can I see was it. like, <laughs> That's not very attractive, is it? Oh, <laughs> Float around the pool with you. Oh, oh, here she is. She's underneath. Oh. Say hi to everyone. You're live on Facebook. Publicly. <laughs> so I don't think you're supposed to go that close. I can't see how close I am. I know, you I can't know, see anything. Awesome. We're going to watch this back and go, oh my god, look how I looked. <laughs> Hi everyone. I can't, I can't reach over there. That's my stand. Because it's wet. That's my stand. You've left yours at home. Oh. There you go. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. Where do you see? Uh, over there. <laughs> put your goggles on. Can you all just watch this? It's so <laughs> yeah. funny. Put your goggles on. Go on, put your goggles on. Who's on? Everyone, put your goggles on. Go on, please. Is it's really funny. Uh, yeah, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> no. no. She won't put them on. She looks so funny with them on. Babe, you're live on Facebook in the background. Mr. H is now live. <laughs> <laughs> so close up now. Right, okay. I'm going now. Let me do my work then. One sec. Bye. Don't think you want to hear this. Bye. So hey my darlings, I thought I'd do a quick live from here whilst I've got some Wi-Fi and chat to you all. Um I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on because I'm conscious, I probably look horrendous. I will check the messages after in the comments, but I wanted to talk to you all about a few things really. There's a couple of things going on in August, a couple of changes, big things happening. Um don't all be shocked now but I was going to actually get rid of spirits and white feathers before I came away and there was a couple of reasons behind that and one was because I am so busy I've got lots of wonderful clients that I absolutely adore and I've also got all the girls etc and a very busy life and lots of programs I want to bring to you guys the spiritually rich babe academy is amazing and the content in there is fantastic and I want to keep that content high level um, and it was getting to the point where I was just like, I don't feel like I was delivering enough to you all. And then I thought, get over yourself, Katie. I love talking about spiritualism and I do have time. So I've made time now to make that happen. And I just want to make sure that you guys know exactly what's going on. So for the rest of this month, we have 30%, 50% off the 30 minute readings, the private readings. And you guys know how to book for that. If you just swipe up or head onto this page and have a look for the link, you'll see it there. The code on checkout is, someone remind me, August 50, is August 50. And also, we are talking all about money. So there's two elements to my business. One is spiritualism, and the other one is money and also business. So I help people that are looking to expand their businesses and want to add in the spiritual magic to really amplify the connection. And because really, the strategy and everything else is amazing in business, but it all boils down to what you believe in yourself and also utilizing the powers above. Might be too out there for some, but it absolutely works. And the energy alignment to make sure that you are 
fully aligned and open, ready to receive guidance and support for your businesses. And that's what I do. And that's how I transform people's businesses and use the same practices myself, which is why I'm where I am today. So that's what I do. But also what I'm very, very proud of is the spiritual aspect. So for those of you who've been following me for a while, let me know if you are new and you don't even know who I am. But for those of you who've been following me for a while, you'll know that I struggled for years and years with my gift. I felt like it was just a ball and chain around my neck. I had no direction. I remember going to a spiritualist church, a group, and literally begging and begging the lady there to help me because I felt as if I was going crazy. I honestly did. I was feeling so tired all the time. I was feeling so emotional all the time. I was getting allergies to everything and didn't understand what was going on. I felt as if I was soaking up everyone's emotions around me and life just felt really, really hard for a number of years. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't all grim and horrible. You know, I've got a wonderful family, I've got lots of great friends, I had lots to be thankful for. But I did feel as if I was not exactly living my life the best way I was supposed to live it. And I knew that I had this amazing gift, but I had no idea what I was supposed to do with it. And I just thought, well, if you've given me this gift and you've given me this opportunity to, you know, connect with the other side and pass some messages to help people, show me how to do it. Like, I just don't understand where I'm supposed to go or how I'm supposed to open up. And that was for a number of years. It was like 16 years that I was going from pillar to post, trying to develop. And let me know if somebody else has had similar experience. But everywhere I went, it was like, I don't know, the, the meditations were a bit too trancy. It was all a little bit, I don't know, just too dark and the people would try and maybe not encourage you as much and if you tried to leap on ahead or if you were showing signs of being slightly more advanced or slightly more open maybe, not advanced, they just kind of weren't receptive and open. So I was searching and searching for a group of people that were maybe slightly younger um, putting like a fresh edge to spiritualism and made it not so frightening and not so worrying all the time and I just couldn't find one, couldn't find one anywhere, there was nothing and even when I launched this business, so even like literally almost three years ago now, when I first did a, um, I went to Mind, Body and Spirit event and I hosted there with Sarah Morgan and I did, um, we had a stall, we weren't actually reading or working properly but we were there and um, just chatting to people. And the whole aspect of mind, body and spirit was almost a little bit spooky as well and a bit almost dated. And to me, that was just not what I was looking for. I was not looking for that, yeah, that dated atmosphere and that, I don't know, clanging drums and it was just too much. I just thought, where is the fresh edge to spiritualism? Where is like the real perspective of what it's like, like the beauty it brings, the love it brings, the peace it brings to the people who are passing on the messages as well because you feel so much better the more you actually open up and there was none of that there was none of like the positivity about it it was all you must be in a trance you must be in a meditated state constantly you must do this that and the other and you can get out that sir oh lost connection i think it's got too hot are you all still there give you a chance to jump back in Hey! <laughs> You're all coming back on now. This is the worst angle ever. I'm so going to regret this video. I'm going to say to Mr. H later, I can't believe I was in my bikini. I can't believe that it was literally, you know, I've got no makeup on. I can't believe. But you know what? You guys get to see me. It's just, it's just normal, isn't it? I think I always watch people that are live that are more normal and more less polished. I like that more. Let me know if that works for you guys too. If you like seeing behind the scenes. It's not all perfect. Hey Emily, how are you darling? Hello Joanne. Hi. Yeah, it is lovely here. It's really nice. But has anyone actually, I'm in Greece by the way. Has anyone actually been to Greece? The food's not great. And they keep handing me drinks. So I keep ordering like cocktails and stuff. But they hand you it in a paper cup. And I'm like, and then by the time you've like the heat and everything, it starts to just literally disintegrate. <laughs> Hello, guys. Right, so where was I? Yeah, so some people experience different things and have different strengths. And that's exactly what I found in psychic school. And rather than letting them get frustrated 
about not having um yeah about not having a certain skill we use the skills that they have got and we expand on those and we use that as their gateway so rather than thinking oh gosh i can't do the psychic drawing or gosh i can't read palms or gosh i don't get this message through i'm like well okay well what do you get through let's have a look at that let's explore it and let's expand on that and that's exactly how i bring them up to the level that they want to be at and that's how they actually understand that they can develop and evolve and that you don't have to show all of your cards at one time and yeah it's really good and it's really interesting for them and it is an enlightening journey and interestingly the psychic school guys from last um, from march not last year from march they were actually saying how it's benefited every aspect of their lives and that's absolutely the case it really does benefit every aspect of your life because they start to feel less harassed less um, worried about things and actually self-assured that they're always going to be looked after and always guided and that is incredibly priceless it gives them the freedom and also the peaceful contentment that they're really really striving for and that is incredible and it is priceless so i have created psychic preschool which is basically a free group that just allows you to understand what spiritualism is like and how i actually teach it and how i'm different to other mediums and spiritualist groups and if you guys would like to explore that and you just maybe maybe you've got no gift whatsoever maybe you've never seen a shadow maybe you've never had an orb on one of your videos but you just kind of just want to experience and see what it's like then get yourself into that group and i'm going to post the link in the top of this live stream for you so you can add yourselves in we get started when i get back from holiday so it's the 7th of september and yeah we're going to do some tests and we're going to do some live streams we're going to do some meditations and we're going to really understand how it actually works for you. So even if you don't have a spiritual gift, I'm going to have to go and put cream on the kids in a minute. Even if you don't have a spiritual gift, then it's for you and you'll enjoy it and you'll have fun with it. So yeah, you can come on board. Um, I'm just going to have a look at your questions. Okay, so when I go into spiritualist church, my right ear hurts and goes really hot. Yeah. So that is, Joanne, on your left side is your guardian, um, is your spirit guide. On the right side is your guardian angels. So when you're first developing or if you're closed off and they want to have contact with you, then they sort of buzz or they, they can either create a buzzing, like a ringing noise in your ears, or they can create like a burning sensation on the bottom of your ear here or actually physical pain inside the ear. And it's because they want you to contact them. So yeah. You just say, thank you, thank you, um, guardian angels, I know you're with me. And if they're buzzing around you as well, it's also that they're giving you some protection. So that could be interesting. Do you feel comfortable in the group? Do you actually feel comfortable there? I'm just changing locations. Do you actually feel comfortable in the group? Because sometimes if you don't feel overly comfortable when you go to these places, your guardian angels will step in to give you some protection. So yeah, be interesting to see. Let me come over here. I'm just gonna go in here for a bit because there's no signal. Now you can now you're gonna see the messy room. <laughs> yes, I get lots of buzzing too. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes you don't oh gosh, this Oh no, don't worry, Sarah, I'll be doing the laughing face as well if I watch this live stream. This is the problem when you haven't got your studio lighting and everything. There we go, hang on, I'll take you into the living room. But I don't always feel they are in contact with spirit. Okay. What else has everyone experienced? There we go, I'm gonna sit at a table. We're having a full on meeting now. Don't, I'm trying to duck so you don't see my bikini. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good one. What is it when you brush past people or in people's company and you get flashes of their lives and how they are feeling? Yeah, that's amazing. So you're a natural empath, but that's a little bit deeper than um, natural empathy. So when you have something like that, you're very in touch with people. But it's also, Claire, important to make sure if that's what you're experiencing, that you can also close down from it. Because what you'll do is it's great if that person's got a really positive energy but if that person's quite negative or if that person's got something heavy going on in their life you'll actually absorb it so you do need to protect yourself if you head to my youtube and go on to the protection meditation 
you'll be able to use that and that's really good. Um, I think it's called the magical protection. Use that before you go out and use that before you go into like a crowded area or before you go to sleep and it will really help you. Okay. Oh my gosh, last night I was up late and around 3am I was in the bathroom and I had a sudden whoosh like a pop in my right ear and a buzzing. I asked if it was a guy to please do it again and it happened again. But not as much. I felt like I had someone gently holding my legs. Ah, oh. so someone's keeping you grounded there, Emily. And also, if it was in your right ear, it's your angels. So it's always your angels. And if you're ever in a situation where you don't feel particularly safe, maybe you wake up in the night and you're a bit like, oh, what's going on? Or you don't know what's woke you up and you feel a bit suddenly shell-shocked. Then all you need to do is call your guardian angels and ask them to sit beside you. And you'll feel that warming beside you. And you'll feel that gentle love and those wings. It's incredible. You lot are so gifted. Oh, bless you. Hi, my daughter is spiritual. She's seven. Can you give me any information on her, please? She's, is, she's exactly strong. Oh, bless her. I had the same, same problem, Rebecca. It was just so hard. Most children are gifted, most children, but they tend to filter out around the age of six or seven. So she doesn't start to show signs of being able to like close off from it because we build up natural barriers. Then she's obviously naturally guilt, uh, gifted. Whereas ones that are maybe every child is psychic because they have no filter, no veil between the two worlds. But if she starts to, so if they start to show signs when they're babies, that's quite normal. So if anyone's had maybe a baby start to look at something behind them when they're talking or, you know, when they're changing the nappy, they start gurgling at something in the distance. Every child is like that. But as, after the age of six or seven, they start to sort of filter it out and realise that, you know, that's not real necessarily in their eyes or that's not a real person but the gifted ones can't do that so she's quite strong and quite gifted there are things you need to do so if you head on over I don't actually work with children because my insurance won't allow it which is so frustrating but if you go onto my YouTube there is some meditations and there's a full training on how to deal with a gifted child so it helps you so what I would say to you Rebecca is make sure you're really educated and clued up on this so psychic school, preschool would really help you. Um, but also head to the YouTube because there's loads of stuff there that will help her as well. Just keep sifting through. There is quite a lot. Um, Emily, I talk to myself in my head and I get different accents, lol. That's spirit talking back to you. That's spirit talking back to you. That's not you. Amazing. You guys all need to be in the group. Okay, so I get continual in messages, insight into people's whole lives, past, present and future and predicted future events. I don't believe in past lives, I don't, the soul lives on and the reason I don't believe in past lives is because when I connect with spirit, they come through, so if you say for example one of your loved ones transitioned over and I'm tuned into them and I'm speaking to them, then they are exactly the same person, so if they had a previous life or if they were then reincarnated in any way, th that wouldn't be real, so it, it's, it's not the case, they just continue to live on, life is ever evolving, ever changing, and yeah, and they continue to live on. Oh, lovely Natasha, keep going, that's amazing. The more of us there are, the better. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, because people say all the time, Emily, that they've closed off from spiritual side for a long time, and I thought I had done that, but you don't actually ever close off. We think that we do, but we don't. So you really need to get it, or you need to get yourself opened up and you either need to get some control over it. So when you open up, you're in tune, you can speak to them, you know your signs. And then when you're closed off, you're fully closed off and they can't get through. And that way you've got the full control of it and it's actually working for you as well. Um... Oh, I've not heard of that one, Joy. I often see raindrops when I walk through doors in certain places. I've not, I've not heard of that one. That's interesting. I'll have to ask Spirit what that actually is. Have you asked Spirit what it is? Everywhere I go, I pick up on a presence until I work out who they are and what happened to them. And they will keep visiting me. Yeah, they will. Did anyone ever see that program with... Um, it's a fictional program, but what was her name? Jennifer Love Hewitt. Ghost Whisperer. Thank you, Mr. H. The Ghost Whisperer. Does anyone ever watch The Ghost Whisperer? It was amazing. And 
basically it's true this um psychic lady it was you know pretend but this psychic lady would get visits from people and they would keep coming back until she'd addressed everything with them and until she'd actually solved what it was that they were there for um so yeah that could be the case for you they know that they can speak to you because spirit will actually attach themselves to you if they know that they can talk to you they will attach themselves so if somebody's not um, develop their gift they might feel slightly heavy and very lethargic very tired and it's because all the spirits attach themselves to you um, because they know that they can speak to you uh, Hayley do you believe that a dog has passed can come back in another no because the soul lives on so the dog's still with you but it go. It lives on in the other world. It comes back and forth, the same as our loved ones. Morning, Philip. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's morning for you guys. We're literally a few hours ahead here, so it's like afternoon now. Uh, da, da, da. Do you think that people who believe in past lives are actually psychic instead? Hmm. No. No, not necessarily. I think it's just everyone's welcome to have their own beliefs and everyone can believe what they want to feel. You know, people say like deja vu moments. Who's had a deja vu moment? Give me some little parts if you have. But deja vu moments are basically in our world are just things that you need to highlight. So if I get a deja vu moment, it's like spirit are putting an exclamation mark over the situation you're in. It's not that you've been there in a previous life. It's not that you have experienced this before and maybe forgotten. What it actually is, is they're highlighting that area of your life. So you're like, oh, okay. So every time I get it now, I, I take in everything around me. I'm like, the emotions, who I'm with, the scenery, everything, to really soak it up and see what it is. Uh, that's exactly like that. Uh, oh, I think I'm a bit behind with these comments. Yeah, Lucy, get yourself into the psychic preschool. Um, do we need to speak to spirit out loud or can they hear us when I think about them? Yeah, so they can hear your thoughts, but if there's something like I really want them to help me with and I really want them to support them with, and I'm like, I say it out loud and also write it down because I just think if I use every method, it like amplifies the request and it amplifies the connection, if that makes sense. Um, I've seen a big white cloud with bright lights in it. Is it one spirit? Yeah, so Gillian, those are really interesting because when we see, you know when you see the clouds and they've got the beaming light coming down, has anyone ever seen that? That is, it's the angels in the sky, it absolutely is. Or if you see the clouds where the light is just behind and it just sort of sparks out, I think the sky is very spiritual because I feel like it's the veil between the two worlds and it's very spiritual. I'm constantly taking pictures of the sky all the time, daytime, nighttime, sunset sunrise if i'm up but you know i'm always taking pictures because i absolutely believe that it's spiritual hang on you guys got such good questions but i need a drink right there everyone's got um like a cold nothing like corona but thank god so everyone's got a really bad cold from the plane because the air con they've got this new thing on the planes for the because of corona it's like filter sort of air thing airflow no oh my gosh literally it's like so strong and um dries all your throat out i always look up at the sky uh is an outer body experience the spirit i had one 35 years ago absolutely who else has had an outer body experience because literally they are the weirdest thing aren't they did you have it where you were floating up and you can see yourself they normally happen, Amanda, in like extraordinary circumstances. So I had one when I was having a near-death experience, but then I also get them in my sleep. So I get taken in my sleep. And when I say taken, spirit take me out of my body and I can see my body on the bed and I can see where Mr. H is lying and I can see everything. I can see like where the cup is and things that I probably hadn't even noticed when I went to bed. And then when I wake up, I look and everything is exactly as it was. Really strange. So let me know. If you've had similar. Yep, yeah, you have. Uh, 
Oh, okay, Gillian. It was a cloud inside where I work, not in the sky. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I misunderstood. So the clouds, when you're actually inside, um, inside and you see a cloud or you see a ball of light, it's the angels coming to look after you. So were you in a particularly either stressful situation? So it can either be in a stressful situation they've come to look after you and come to give you guidance, or it can actually be the fact that they just want to look after you in that moment. They're just there with you. So yeah, let me know which one. Do you remember what was actually happening? They'll also send you balls of light. Did anyone get any balls of light? And they all come in different colours. So yeah, let me know if you've experienced that as well. In my dreams, I go flying, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I would love to join. No idea how to speak to spirit. I have orbs in my kitchen, knocking on my fridge door, and I found my freezer door open. I think someone is trying to get my attention. Sounds crazy. Do you know, I feel sorry for spirit sometimes, Lynette. Does anyone else? Does anyone else feel like a bit sorry for them? Because I think... They sit there, you know, they hear our requests and I can imagine they're up there with like, I know this is crazy, this isn't the case, this isn't what they've confirmed, but this is just what I always think. I can imagine they're up there with their little clipboards and going, right, Philip Watson wants this, you know, Gemma wants this and uh, Amanda Knox wants this and Katie Halliwell wants this. And then they're giving us all the signs or they're giving us all the things that we are looking for or they're answering our questions and then we're not seeing it or we're like second guessing it. And they're almost like, oh gosh, oh gosh, how annoying are they? How annoying. Now let's open their freezer door. Let's clang on their walls. Let's ring their phones. You know, let's uh, hide their jewellery because Spirit used to do that to me all the time. They'd hide my jewellery. So I put my jewellery down and then it would go. And I'm like, <laughs> where is my jewellery gone? Give me back my jewellery. And I know that they move things. And the next minute I look and it's there. And Mr. H was like, it's you, you, you're losing things. It's not spirit. And I'm like, no, it was there. And now it's suddenly back again. I'm like, it's so weird. But yeah, they do everything to get our attention. Um, Kim's asking, what happens to a baby if they are stillborn? Do they stay as a baby or do they grow up in spirit? They grow up in spirit. So what happens, um, I'm so sorry for your loss, by the way, my poor darling. But what happens is they grow up in spirit world. Now this can throw mediums. And this is something I teach in the school because... People will say, I've lost a baby, I've lost a child. An actual fact, and then a 10-year-old comes through in spirit, and you're like, okay, well, I've got a 10-year-old here, and you have to, first of all, make sure that the vision you're seeing isn't of a 10-year-old living and a 10-year-old in spirit. And they come through with, in my situation, when I'm reading, they come through with somebody. That's how I know they're actually in spirit. So they're standing next to an older person, usually, because they're looked after by your loved ones on the other side. So it could be somebody you've never actually even met or like a long lost grandmother or a long lost auntie or what have you. And they stand with them and they look after them. But the child appears in a reading at the age it would have been if it was living, which is how I know for certain that they actually live on. Sometimes if I'm not getting it and I'm really not grasping it, maybe I'm having a bad connection day. They'll show me the baby in another form. So I know that it's a child that's passed over for the person. And if it's a baby being born, you get the colour of the blanket and I get the baby going like that. So it's gifted out to me. Say hi, Boo. Hi, Boo. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's different ways with it. I'm coming. I'm going to have to end this live now because I'm going to have to go and play. Uh, they're not teaspoons off. Uh, oh, I love all your comments, guys. I could stay and talk to you all day. But I'm going to go and play with my babies now. I'm constantly seeing angel numbers. Yep, yeah, look them up because they're amazing. Make sure you speak to your angels and ask them for guidance. Ah, I'm loving all your comments. Um, if someone's taken their own life? No, this, I've had a few people when they've taken their own lives. Quite a lot recently, actually. There's sadly a lot more than you actually would ever think of. It, it's crazy. Um, and it's sad, isn't it? It's like people can be so loved and have such lovely families. And I've seen all different levels of, and all different types of people that have taken their own lives, all different ages, all different um, problems in their lives, totally different circumstances is the point I'm trying to make. And a lot of them have got so many loved ones and so many people that absolutely adored them. 
and they never saw it come in. They just didn't see it coming. And I don't think you can ever really know what's going on in someone's head, can you? It's it's really, yeah, it's quite sad. And, you know, with all the love in the world, you can be there for people. But if they're in that kind of headspace, you can't reach them. You really can't. But when people have crossed over, there's only a few that actually are ever sad that they've actually gone, you know, and regretted it. A vast majority of them that have taken their own lives are actually happier the only thing they miss is the fact that they've left their loved ones behind and they feel sad that they've sort of left without any, you know, leaving you behind and leaving you in pain. That's what they feel bad about. But they don't, they used to be like a quiet whisper in my ear when I was first starting out. And that was my key code that they were actually quieter and that they were suicide. And that was how, but now they show me how they actually took their own lives, which isn't always pleasant because especially the strangulation ones are really hard. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Thank you, stop. And they always like make me feel, I don't know if this is too spooky for you all. I don't know if, uh, yeah, maybe I won't tell you this, but there's other things that they do that aren't particularly pleasant. So, but there's so many of them, so, so many. And um, if they don't want to come through, can they stop there? Yeah, I'll answer that one sec. So with um, the ones that have taken their own lives, they are almost free from pain and able to actually live the life they wanted to live on earth. They're actually able to live it in spirit world. And I hope that anyone who's watching this and has anyone that has taken their own lives, really take that on board because that's very much the case. Or yes, they're upset and worried that they've left you and they're worried that they've left you in pain, but also they're now free to live the life that they always wanted to live, which is incredibly rewarding. So amazing. Uh, if they don't want to come through, can they stop that? Absolutely. The amount of people that a book are reading and they're like, can so-and-so come through? And they might come through a little bit or they might come through super strong or they might just decide, you know what, no. But there's one, there's quite a few, especially the fathers with their daughters. I don't know why, but they always say, can you ask her if she definitely wants to speak with me? And I think sometimes the connection that daughters and fathers have can be so deep that they worry that they're actually... I don't know, um, could upset them and they don't know upset you. So if you are quite traumatised by a passing and you're still recovering from it and you're still grieving heavily, then they will hold back. That's just a natural thing to make sure that you're looked after and that you're all feeling safe. So I hope that's answered some of your questions. I will come on and do more lives, definitely. I have more time on holiday. It's crazy when I'm back home. I don't really have much time. I should make time for you all. And I wanted to do this outside, but I couldn't see your comments because it's too sunny. And now you've got me at the worst angle. And look, <laughs> no makeup on, looking like um, a tramp. There we go. Right, so I'm going to love you and leave you all. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you are looking to develop your gift, then get yourself into... Um, oh, <laughs> You can get yourself into the Psychic Preschool group and I will add the link in there for you. And also remember there's 30, there's 50% off 30 minute readings, not 30%, there's 50% off 30 minute readings. And also my academy for any boss babes that want to help um, develop their businesses and want to really get to the next level, then get yourselves into the Spiritually Rich Babe Academy. There's 50% off there as well. And everything is upgrading in my business. I'm going to the next level and it's scary, but I'm loving it. So I'd love, love, love you guys to help me. So if you found this live stream interesting, please can you share it out into your groups and really help me get the modern, as I was saying at the beginning of this live stream, the modern, modern message out to spirit about spirit because I think it's so dated and it needs a shake up, definitely. I love you all so much. <laughs> Bill's got no makeup on either. Well done, Phil. <laughs> oh, natural's the way forward. All right, then. I love you all so much. Have a great day. I'm off to jump in the pool. Mwah.